Internet, what's up? My name is Robert T. Garden, and we are here with a T. Garden tidbit, bite-sized tutorials for your filmmaking career. And today we are talking about three keyboard shortcuts you need to make right now. Can I move my hands around anymore? Speed. Speed and efficiency, again, are the reason why I continually go over these keyboard shortcuts. We're gonna talk about three that I use right now that I had to create. The first one is scale to frame. A lot of us are sitting here working on 4K and high frame rate resolution footage, which tends to be in 1080p. I have a 4K timeline, but I have a high frame rate clip. What I would have to do in order to make it fit is to right click, go to scale to frame. Now, I don't like to touch a mouse any more than I need to, ladies and gentlemen. So I have created the keyboard shortcut to scale to frame. My option is control, alt, and P because those were the things that were open. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to create your own in just one second. But control, alt, P is my scale to frame. I use that every single project that I do. It is incredibly helpful, especially when I'm shooting between back and forth clips, 4K and high frame rate, uh, which is very often for me every single time that I'm touching a camera pretty much. Number two, a lot of times what I'll do, especially if I have to scale to frame, you'll see that now I have this unrendered piece of footage right there. If I set my in and out point, uh, what used to happen when I hit enter is that it would render that piece of footage out, but it doesn't do that anymore for some reason. I'm not gonna go into it right now. So what I had to do in order to render this particular thing out was go up to sequence, go render in and out, and before I made my shortcut, this would be blank. I had no option of how to do that from a keyboard shortcut so I'd have to go and hit a drop down menu, my worst enemy possible. And so I created this keyboard shortcut. Now what I do is I hit shift apostrophe. It goes and renders that section from the in and out point, And then I'm ready to go. I got green bars across the entire thing. Now, the last and final one that I thought I would have to create, but it turns out it actually is already there, which is it's just fantastic, is getting rid of my in and out points. Now, a lot of the times what I use these in and out points for is just to render certain parts of my sequence that have heavy effects on them and that are making my system drag quite a bit. So what I would do is I would just go in and render those sections out, but then if I had it in like a loop playback situation, I would have to do something different. So before I would have to right click again, go to clear in and out section, and that would just be kind of a bummer. I don't like doing that. I hate right clicking stuff. It makes me very irritated. So what I did is I looked in and what we have is this control shift X. If I highlight a clip and hit X, it's gonna put an in and out point on the ends of those clips. If I hit shift control X, it's going to remove them. It's really an awesome keyboard shortcut to use, especially if you're fond of rendering things out, which you should. You should definitely try and keep a green bar across your timeline. How do you create keyboard shortcuts? Well, ladies and germs, that is an easy thing to do. We're gonna to go to edit. We're gonna go down to keyboard shortcuts, and then it'll give you a whole list of certain things that you're going to be looking for. But if it's not already already programmed on a keyboard shortcut and do take some time to kind of play around with this and see exactly what they have to offer. But if they don't have it, you type in scale, you start to type in what's going on here and you'll see the different options for the shortcuts or the commands that you're trying to do. Next, what you do is move into this side of the column and you would start to type in exactly the shortcut that you want to use. Hit okay. And there you go. You have your own programmed keyboard shortcut to go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a tea garden tidbit bite-sized tutorial for your filmmaking career. Another one in the can, and I'm gonna get out of here before it gets too long. So if you like what you see here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for post notifications. If you like the video, like the damn video. And I hope I see you guys in the next one. TTFN.